I've always been interested in how genetic changes affect disease. Genetics is the study of how traits are passed from one generation to the next through DNA. However, epigenetics studies how changes on top of DNA influence traits. I remember growing up, we used to have cookbooks and we'd put sticky notes in them uh, in the family and they'd have loads of tips, for example, cook this for 20 minutes longer or uh, don't make this recipe ever again. And in a way, if DNA is your recipe, the instructions for life, then we would call epigenetic marks those sticky notes. Around the 1940s, the phrase or the term epigenetics was coined. A few years later after that, we got the actual DNA structure and I'd say the kind of field of molecular genetics was born. In more recent decades, we've been able to profile the complete uh, set of epigenetic marks. It's really important in our understanding of aging. It's also important in many other diseases uh, like cancer, for example. And cancer was one of the first diseases to be linked to epigenetic changes. New technologies are being produced that can give us a lens through the genetic changes and the epigenetic changes on top of them at the same time. They're going to push and advance our understanding of genetics and epigenetics across a whole host of uh, disease areas.